Hello, and thanks again uh, for joining us today for the member spotlight of Robotics Australia Group. Uh, our latest member is uh, Dr. Clive Webster, and he's the founder and CEO of Crest Robotics. Clive, welcome, and thank you for being here today. My dramas. Thank you kindly, Nikki. Would you like to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about Crest Robotics? Sure. Uh, so my name is Clyde Webster. Uh, I've got a PhD in robotics from the University of Technology, Sydney. Uh, and I founded Crest Robotics about one year ago in three days. Uh, Crest Robotics' aim is to essentially develop the right tools for the job, right? So we're trying to develop tools for the future of safe work. So we, we observe a lot of components of jobs that are extremely repetitive and uh, monotonous and damaging to people and what we're trying to do is enable them with robotic tools to perform that work uh, more safely and more efficiently. Tell us a little bit about Polly. Yeah so Polly is really exciting. Polly is a world first. Um, so it's a three-limbed parrot inspired climbing robot for climbing tall complicated structures and performing repetitive work. Uh, we don't get a lot of work-based robots out there. They're starting to come out more and more, but by and large, um, you know, robotics are being used for inspection, which is excellent. There's a lot to be, lot to be done there still. Um, but where we try to make our bread and butter is in doing physical labor. Uh, Poly is being targeted currently at the energy infrastructure market. Uh, so we spend billions worldwide every year just um, doing really simple repetitive work, like taking back... Um, coatings on high voltage steel structures uh, and repainting it to prevent corrosion. Um, currently that stands as a barrier for, the imp um, for implementing renewables. And we're trying to make the process uh, a lot cheaper and a lot safer uh, so that we can increase the resource pool to, to generating new infrastructure assets. And so that all the new infrastructure assets that we, we, we build to connect renewables actually have a maintenance plan that's sustainable indefinitely. And you've just provided the energy sector with another solution. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So using the same principles uh, in the design of these really complex dynamic robots, we've developed a really simple tool uh, for basically pulling, pulling devices along high voltage conductors for conductor replacement exercises. So using the same principles as we do for climbing robots in the design, the product we're bringing to market is about a third the weight, it's stronger, it's got a bigger battery, um, and it can actually overcome obstacles on the transmission lines that nothing else in the market can currently do. Congratulations. Obviously, you're a member of Robotics Australia Group, um, and of course, not touting for us. Why is it important to you to be part of this organization and the big body? Oh, yeah. And Robotics Australia Group is doing really important work in my perspective. So the advocacy of the adoption and support for robotics groups and robotics companies within Australia is extremely important. Um, you know, if we don't support them, we don't have a body like Austra Robotics Australia Group. Um, you know, advising politicians and advising and trying to influence policy to support these companies, they'll disappear and we'll lose a huge advantage in Australia for the development of this technology. Clyde, thank you very much for your support. And lastly, where can uh, our audience reach you? Yep, so LinkedIn is, is always great. Else you can email uh, uh, the company website, uh, info at crestrobotics.co. Fantastic. Thanks very much. Thanks, Nikki.